Hey, this is Jean with CAJ Farm. We're an educational, retail, um, medicinal herb, egg, and music farm here in beautiful Matthews County, Virginia. Um, this week has really gotten by me, and here it is Friday, and uh, I want to do our farm share, our farmily share, which is our weekly YouTube. And uh, I really wanted to do it yesterday, and um, I'm not used to doing it on Thursdays, and so I've got to rem remember to put that on the board. We have a work board we have out on Thursdays because we have a lot of, um, of uh, team leaders working here and we have volunteers working here on Thursdays. And so everybody, we write everything that needs to be done on the board and everybody checks in and kind of picks what they want to work on. I got to be sure I put something on there about remind Jean to do her YouTube, <laughs> so, to do the Farmily YouTube. Um, they call us the Farmily here because we're actually a community of people just working together to be well and to be happy. And to move forward in our lives you know everybody's handling something and uh you know dealing with things and but together you can do it and you can do it with joy and you can do it with no judgment and you can do it with support and that's what our farm's about anyway yesterday was amazing i wish i took a video of it we had a ton of people here we had a great drum circle we had some good food we got a ton of work done which was great i mean i knew the farm looked like it needed some spiffying up from the winter but uh, but yeah after everybody left i was like wow it really does look better <laughs> i was really happy with in fact i'll just kind of show you around a little bit yeah like i say everything's looking pretty good you know we still haven't put the new tent up on the up on the, the top on the tent yet. We'll do that soon. But right now we're enjoying eating back there um, in the sunshine. But we're still uh, working on things. Uh, one of our ladies came, uh, Joy, yesterday, uh, cleaned up the hoop house, which it needed it bad. It was such a mess. And uh, But yeah, we've got some great stuff growing in here. She's got it looking really good, got it organized. It's amazing how things get trashed so fast. It's like I need to clean out my closets. <laughs> but everything's looking good. And we've got some great, like, spinaches and, and, um, and some lettuces growing. There's some lemon balm. Um, you know, now is a... Oh, here's some more spinach. Let me show you. Here's some more great spinach. We've got a bunch of spinaches growing in here. We have some things planted outside in the gardens, too. But I tell you, during... It was so cold in January that it really hit everything hard. So we're looking for warming up a bit so that we can... Um, you know, have more outside. But, you know, this is not a heated greenhouse. It's just a, a way of trapping the sun and keeping the frost from getting on things, which I think sometimes that's all you need. But we cleaned up the front area. We, uh, yeah, we it, it was it was a good day. We had many hands and many hands, you know, make, make work easy. And uh, I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna check the bees. They have, uh, I've been trying to get them through. Sounds like bears after somebody over there. The dogs are enjoying this weather. Everybody is. You know, we were working outside uh, yesterday, and uh, the birds seemed like they were out saying, oh, it's so nice out here. They're kind of thinking about spring. There's some of our veggies that are planted in the ground. And they're kind of slowed down from all that extreme cold, but now they'll start springing back. And we're going to be planting lots more lettuces and stuff up underneath that arbor. But here's our one beehive we've got left, and it is still alive. They've been like, uh, I put some food on them and they've been like laying low the last, you know, few weeks because it's been so cold. But uh, I'm going to put some more food on them today while it's warm enough I can open them up. And then we'll um, hopefully get them through the spring. The queen in there should be thinking about starting to lay. She should be starting. So they, the honeybees actually go through the winter, you know, with a lot fewer number. And then in, in January, late January, February, she starts laying. And in 21 days, out hatches new bees. So, and she needs them all to start foraging and, um, and uh, you know, build the new summer, spring, summer hive. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick check-in today. It, like I said, it was a quick week. Uh, boy, I had a lot going on. You know, our farm is an educational farm, and um, our local school um, did a shout out that they needed some workers to come in and work with the kids for a couple hours on Wednesday while the, the teachers attended some training. And um, so I said, sure, I'd come down and volunteer. So I, I, did, a, I did two one-hour drum programs, one for the younger kids and one for uh, the middle school kids. Well, the younger group went really well. The middle school group, man. Man, you know, I used to be an old school bus driver, so I'm used to handling kids, but, and somebody's told me, you know, kids are, 
kids need to have some respect and you know we need to tell kids no sometimes um yeah these kids we had a group they were just out of control um they just had no sense of being respectful for anything and um so i had a high school student helping me and we decided about midway through that second hour with those middle school kids that no we're done so we just told them to put the drums up and um, go sit by the wall you know on the benches until the teachers came and got them so but you know you think about that and i was talking to everybody about that yesterday they're probably going to need people to do that again and i heard they are going to be wanting that and you know, I'm going to go back and try again. Um, as they were sitting there, I actually got a couple of good conversations going with the kids and uh, and trying to understand them and where they're coming from. I think the COVID's been hard on them. and As well as just they, they need to know it's not all about them, you know. Um, Namahe, the Sanskrit for not about me. And so I was talking to a few of them about that too. You need to look at how are your parents doing? How are the teachers doing? Think of other people besides just yourself. And... Um, and, you know, respect it when people are trying to share things with you. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go back and try again if they ask me. And um, see if I can't, you know, have a better program with the middle school age. Where they'll actually sit and listen a little bit. And not just be so out of so out of control. Um, I actually asked the, the high school girl that was helping me. And I said, was it just me? Am I being, you know, too expecting too much? She said, no, they were... They were, they were horrible, so that made me feel a little better, but still, I felt bad I couldn't handle the situation. So I will, uh, I will try again, and I hope you try again too. You run into a hard situation, you gotta handle it, right? Anyway, y'all have a great week, stay well. If you're having some good weather like we are today, um, for, for February it's pretty nice. If you're having some good weather, you know, get out and enjoy it. Breathe, walk, and because I know we still got some more winter to go. Anyway, I will be with you next Thursday when we got a lot going on because I want to. We're actually going to be starting to plant seeds, and we're going to do some elderberry cuttings too. So I will have you in on that next week. Y'all be well.